Hello, good morning, and welcome back to Prayer Request Live from the California studios. Things haven't been going my way lately, I'll admit. It's really tough, but I know God has a plan. I always work on putting my life in His hands. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11 says, Look to the Lord and His strength. Seek His face always. I want to thank our sponsor, Catholic Online at Catholic.org, the world's Catholic library. Pope Francis asks we focus in on the young people of Africa for September. He asks we pray that the young people in Africa may have access to education and work in their own countries. In addition, please join us as we pray for the following intentions. For Pope Francis and the bishops, priests and deacons of the church, may they preside with integrity and wisdom all the days of their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders, judges, and public servants, may they, we pray they serve justly and righteously. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elderly, the sick, the shut-in, the poor, the hungry, the oppressed, and the imprisoned, and for children around the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of your local community, may you know peace and prosperity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause now for you to offer your own prayer intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Before we start with the request, I want to ask all of you to leave a comment with your location for the chance at a special shout out towards the end of today's show. Now join me in hearing the needs of our brothers and sisters. We pray for Tom. I've been requesting prayers about my ex-wife daily. Please pray that the Holy Spirit will stir deeply in April's heart, mind, soul, and life to turn to seek the restoration of our marriage. And if it is not in His will, then I be shown. Amen. We pray for Resty. As a small business owner in these tough economic economic times, we are struggling to pay the bills and provide for our family and the families of our employees. We have changed the direction of our business. I pray the Lord will guide customers back through our doors so that we can once again provide for our family and the families of our employees. Amen. We pray for Andrew. Please pray for healing against all the bad thoughts of the past and for grace to have peace of mind and no more worries. It's hard with autism. Amen. We pray for Brother Alex. Through the intercession of the Holy Family, May all Christian families be a true light in the world, and may purity and the culture of life prevail in all hearts, the world, and especially within the church. Amen. We pray for Jalissa. I have negative thoughts. It's not me. I'm a good person. In my heart, I love God and the Catholic Church. Amen. We pray for Tanya. Please pray that God will remove the pain from my left foot. This is abundantly more than I can ask for or imagine. Amen. We pray for John. Please pray for our business, that we may get back to solid financial footing and that we can face the challenges we have. We need to rent our vacancies and to obtain financing and to sell profitably. And we need to sell our home so that we can survive. Amen. We pray for Kate Ann. Dear Lord, Thank you for all of your special blessings you have showered down on my family. We thank you every second of the day for always being there for us. Life is not always easy, but knowing your love for all of us helps us get through the day, today stress and anxiety. We worship you. We thank you, dear Lord. Amen. We pray for Janet. Please pray for Ariana, a five-year-old girl with inoperable brain tumor. Amen. 
we pray for Willa. Dear Heavenly Father, I am a sinner, but I repent my sins and I ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come into my heart and to be Lord and Savior. Dear Lord, please give me blessings, mercies, grace, favors, protection, and wisdom for my nursing career. Amen. We pray for Maria, for a happy, peaceful death for Carmen, who is already blessed with the long life of 103 years. Amen. We pray for Glenda. Please pray that my son will find employment very soon. Please pray that something will come up for him so his life can get moving on for the better. Amen. We pray for Joe, for my wife to regain her speech and recover from her stroke, for the relationship between our family, for our marriage, for our grandsons Brandon and Brooke's illness, for our son, his family, and all of our issues. Amen. We pray for Yvette. Please pray for my daughter Bella, who just went to college and is having trouble adjusting. She is homesick as well. Amen. We pray for Rebecca. Lord, thank you for all of your blessings every day. You have truly blessed us. Lord, please guide me to a better job, mentally and physically and financially. I am very thankful to have a job, but my body can't do this anymore. Please, Lord, guide me to a better job with better hours. Amen. We pray for Bree. Dear Lord, thank you for all of your blessings and blessing us with a new house. I pray that Paul and I will continue to have faith in you. I pray tomorrow we hear the good news about our new home. We need you, Lord. Please perform a miracle tomorrow for us, that the bank will reject the other offer and accept ours, that they see the truth about this buyer. Oh, Lord, please help us. Amen. We pray for Sue. Please pray for me. I am depressed with health and housing problems. Amen. We pray for Michelle. Please pray that my anxiety is called and that I find peace. Please pray that my kid's dad remains incarcerated for a long time so that we can be safe and I can be okay. Please pray for my financial breakthrough and success. Please pray for mine and my son's family. Amen. We pray for Joan. Please pray for my sister Laura. She has metastatic breast cancer. Amen. We pray for Rosemary. Please pray for my husband Greg's surgery to go well and that he recovers fast. Also, please keep me in your prayers to feel healthy again and for the pain to stop. Please let this weakness go away and let me feel strong again. Amen. Now, please join me together in praying the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray for Cassidy. I humbly ask that you pray for my relative Cassidy for discernment and for health. Amen. We pray for Sue. Please pray for my daughter to get engaged and to be able to get a permanent job to move back to Dallas and to have a baby. Amen. We pray for Regina. Dear Lord, I pray the repairs needed on my husband's car be easily and quickly done. Also, that they not be too expensive, as another car payment cannot be handled at this time. Amen. We pray for Sandy. Please pray my husband gets the contract for fire services. We really need this. Pray that we get an answer today. In Jesus' name, amen. We pray for Lorna. Dear God, Heavenly Father, sweet Jesus, loving Lord, be with us as I pray. Thank you for all of our blessings and for blessings to come. Please take care of all of our needs, concerns, and safely guide us to our destinations today, tonight, tomorrow, and always. Please bless the unions of CJC and DFJR and CRC and CR and DCD and APK and grant them faithfulness, love, and forgiveness, and always togetherness. Amen. We pray for Lloyd, for peace and religious unity in the world, to enlighten and guide all of the leaders of the world, nation, and community, for the Pope and all of Catholics, for our family, near and dear ones, 
for our spiritual and temporal wants, for good health and long life, that we may all go to heaven when we die. Amen. We pray for Barbara. Please pray for my daughter, Samantha, as she undergoes a painful procedure. Prayers for keeping her calm and comforted, as well as receiving good results from the biopsy. Amen. We pray for Sharon. I ask that my daughter finds the happiness she deserves. She is good and kind. I also ask that I can overcome the darkness of despair and see the light of hope. Amen. We pray for Cindy. Please pray for my son and I to be protected from evil at school and at work. Amen. We pray for Rob. Please, God, do not let my girlfriend suffer from my mistakes. She has a good and kind heart, and she always doesn't deserve all the strife she is suffering now, let alone the problems my poor decisions have made. You have helped me through many dark times in my life, and I ask you now that you show kindness to someone who has been a shining example of real love in my life. Amen. We pray for Molly. Please pray for James S., who was in the ICU in a coma and on a ventilator after falling down. His oxygen levels are low and he is unconscious. Please pray that he regains consciousness and he is on the way to better health. Amen. We pray for Desiree. Please pray for my marriage as my husband has left me and has hard heart. I pray that he comes back to me and that God softens his heart and puts love into him so that he can remember the love we are both capable of. Amen. We pray for Mocha. Please pray for my dog, Mocha. She's battling a very stubborn infection with a high temperature. She's fighting for her life. May Jesus' love and healing come to her and completely destroy the infection and restore her health. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen. We pray for Lisa. Please pray for my baby girl. She may have to get some tests done for her breathing. Amen. We pray for Caroline. Please pray for my cousin Kevin, who is having an operation today, and for my sick friend Anthony, who is currently in the hospital. Please also pray that I pass my exam I'm taking tomorrow. Amen. We pray for John. I'm trying hard not to be scared. I have a tumor that is blocking my trachea, larynx, and I'm hoping my doctor can perform surgery to correct this. Please pray for my healing and guidance of Dr. T.J. Lee. Amen. We pray for Savetlana. Please pray that I have a good time at my IEP meeting tomorrow and that I don't talk about transformers there. My teachers know about this. Please pray for my life and my soul. Amen. We pray for Jim. Please pray for my family. We are experiencing some turmoil caused by an outside source who is lying about us and causing us problems. Lord, please hear all of your people's prayers. May there be peace with all. Amen. Let's get to the shout outs now. Thank you for all of your great and awesome comments during today's show. I'm only to mention, able to mention a few people each day, but if I don't get to your name today, don't worry, because I will get some more names tomorrow. I'm trying my best. I apologize if I get any of the names wrong. Thank you. Rosalinda from Texas. Norma from Texas. Mary Lou from Arizona. Catherine from Florida. Nerosha from Germany. And Harold from Bangladesh. Thank you, and thank you everyone. Please now everyone join me in praying the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please go to our Catholic Online Prayer Request Live page to submit your prayer requests to be prayed for live with our community. Remember, like us on Facebook and subscribe to Catholic Online's YouTube channel. I hope to see everyone back here tomorrow live at 9 a.m. Pacific Time. Have a great day and God bless.